Lab report reflection take one. <laughs> wow, what a waste of time. Explain how your apparatus exhibits a transfer of kinetic energy to potential. Our apparatus exhibits a transfer of kinetic energy to potential energy when the marble rolls off and falls down onto the second inclined plane, and then it pauses for an instant and continues down that plane. The change in direction results in a decrease of kinetic energy and an increase in potential energy for a moment. This is, a ma this is the maximum of the potential energy of the marble, and then this is then converted back or transferred back into kinetic energy. Explain how your apparatus exhibits a transfer of potential energy to kinetic. The cup of marble that is attached to the pulley has gravitational potential energy. When a large marble falls into the cup, the overall mass increases and outweighs the mass of the object attached to the other side of the pulley. When this cup falls after being suspended above the zero reference level of the flag, or the ground in other words, this is when potential energy is transferred to kinetic energy. Calculate how much gravitational potential energy the apparatus begins with. In other words, how much energy do you give the apparatus when you first drop the marble in? Use the flag's resting position as your zero reference level. To calculate the gravitational potential energy that the marble has when we initially drop it into the apparatus, we use the equation PE equals MGH. We measure the height to be approximately 0 0.83 meters off the ground from the zero reference level. We then multiplied this by the mass of the marble, 5.0 grams, and the gravitational constant 9.8. We came up with 40.8905 joules of potential energy. Calculate the speed with which the flag is raised using speed equals the distance the flag travels divided by the time it takes the flag to go this distance. To calculate the speed with which the flag is raised, we use the equation distance over time. The distance of the displacement of the flag was 0.474 meters, and the time it took to travel was 0.59 seconds. The final speed was calculated as 0 0.8034 meters per second. Was energy conserved from the initial potential energy given to the apparatus by the marble to the final kinetic energy of the flag? Use calculations to show this and explain how your calculations show this. In our apparatus, energy was not conserved because the initial potential energy of the marble was significantly greater than the final kinetic energy of the flag. To obtain the kinetic energy, we use the equation Ke equals 1 half mv squared. We multiplied velocity of the flag, which was 0.8034 meters per second, by the mass, which was 0 0.0008 kilograms. Then multiply that quantity by 1 half. As shown here, the initial potential energy we calculated was 40.89 joules, and the final kinetic energy was 2.58 times 10 to the negative 4 joules. Because they are not equal, we can conclude that energy was not conserved. If energy was not conserved, it had to go somewhere. List at least five ways energy could be lost, not given to the flag. Energy was lost in our apparatus in five ways. Throughout the entire machine, we had air resistance and friction whenever the marble rolled along another object. There was vibrations due to sound whenever the marble contacted another object and when the final brick fell. There was also vibration due to heat whenever it was a part of the pulley. And the elasticity of the string of each pulley also took away from the total final energy. This is our bibliography with a couple of sites that we have visited. The first three sites are YouTube videos on several Rude Goldberg machines that helped us get different ideas to contribute into our own project, based on similar restrictions and with a much more creative outlook. The last four sites were definitions, diagrams, and examples of simple machines that we decided to use in our own apparatus, making sure we used each machine correctly to meet all the requirements for this project. Then we have our various resource materials, varying from the internet, students who have done this project previous years, the textbook, parents who have some engineering backgrounds, and students who are currently working on this project as well. A few things we kept in mind were making sure we incorporated all the needed materials as well as using the simple machines correctly. Students from previous years told us to go above and beyond the required elements to get past a C on our project. Our parents reminded us of Murphy's Law, where what can go wrong will. 
so we created our apparatus to make sure our machine worked 100% of the time. Students who are currently working on this project always reminded us to think simply, be resourceful, and go above and beyond with their work, and also to always look around the house for items that we can use. In our apparatus, we used levers, we used pulleys, we had an inclined plane, and last but not least, a wheel and axle. project together was overcoming all of the restrictions, such as no magnets, no springs, no rubber bands, and no electricity. Oh, to overcome these obstacles, we use household objects such as paper cups, regular pieces of paper that we tape together, um, tape and glue, just like, you know, for any type of project. But by using random things coming together, it puts a lot more creativity behind it because I mean, when you're restricted to only certain types of things, <laughs> it, just, it, made it, it made it funner, more fun. After initially putting this project together, we had a hard time making all the pieces fit together just right, so that energy was transferred properly and everything worked in sync. So after working and playing around with our project a lot, we finally figured out that we always had to make sure that each of our objects were placed in like a specific spot. So. If one, even like a glue cap, for example, the, that pulley was placed a different place, the marble would not fall in and the flag would not raise. Or we'd have to make sure there was enough marbles in the first cup so the pulley would raise and would set off the next lever. We also had to make sure that there was the exact right proportion of marbles so that it would raise fast enough in order to trigger the next lever. Something we learned from this entire project was energy isn't always going to be conserved. We're always calculating mechanical energy from an ideal environment, so we don't have to deal with a lot of things that can take away energy. For example, in this project, um, in class we do a lot of things. We don't account for friction or air resistance or uh, other uh, like vibrations, but in this project we lose a lot of energy due to friction, air resistance, uh, gravity, well, gravity for some things. Um, we also lose uh, like vibrations from heat and sound. Okay, so this section is my favorite part of our project because obviously this entire project is about transferring energy. And for one of the simple machines, it is an inclined plane. And as you can see here, this plane is inclined. And the way we incorporated transfer energy is it uh, in it is not to have a marble go up it, but the energy of the marbles transferred through here. See, when uh, this part goes up, and then it, it will knock this marble in, and that happens. And what just happened was this marble hit the first marble right here, which transferred the energy all the way to the last marble. Official take two. Take three. Take four. Six. I don't know. Five. Okay. Yeah. Take five. five. Okay. Take six. Frick, son of a... Okay. Oh, son of a... <laughs> so close. Oh, yeah. Hey, faster. Yeah.